Hello students, welcome to Engstrom Edu, India's best out solving app and today we are going to learn about the topic laws of chemical composition. So there are five laws of chemical composition. First is law of conservation of mass. Conservation of mass. Second is law of definite proportions. Law of definite proportions. Third is law of multiple proportions. Law of multiple proportions. Fourth is Gay Lussac law of gaseous volume. Gay Lussac's law of gaseous volume and the last and fifth law is Avogadro's law. It is Avogadro's law. So here we have to study about these laws one by one. So our first law is law of conservation of mass. So first is law of conservation of mass. It states that matter can neither be created nor be destroyed. It says that matter can neither be created nor be destroyed. Or we can say that total mass that is the sum of mass of reacting mixture and the product formed remains constant means total mass of reactants is equals to total mass of products. Second law is law of definite proportion or law of constant composition. So second is law of definite proportion. So this law states that the compound will remain exactly the same whether it is derived from any source. So irrespective of its source, origin or its quantity, the percent composition of elements within that compound will remain the same. Means the percent composition, the percent composition of elements by weight in a given compound remains same irrespective of its origin. Remains same irrespective of its origin source. For example, if water from tap water, mineral water, rain water is derived, then the composition of water that this H2O in which the ratio of hydrogen is to oxygen is 2 is to 16 means 1 is to 8. This will remain same in all the waters which are derived from different sources. Then we have law of multiple proportions. Third is law of multiple proportion. It states that if two elements combine to form more than one compound, it states that if two elements combine to form, combine to form more than one compound, the masses of these elements in the reactions are in the ratio of small whole numbers. The masses of these 
elements in the reaction in the reaction are in the ratio of small whole numbers are in the ratio of small whole numbers then our next law is gay lussac's law of gaseous volume fourth is gay lussac's law of gaseous volume so it states that when gases are produced or combined in a chemical reaction they do it in simple ratio by volume that when the gases are at same temperature and pressure means if temperature and pressure is same temperature and pressure is same then gases combine in a simple ratio by volume gases combine in a simple ratio by volume our last law is avogadro's law last is avogadro's law so avogadro's law states that under same conditions of temperature and pressure under same conditions of temperature and pressure an equal volume of all gases contains equal number of molecules and equal volume of all the gases contain an equal number of molecules contains an equal number of molecules so this is all about the laws of chemical composition thank you for the session happy asking